Those of you who have been following along on my journey into the void and would like an update, this post is for you. It might take a minute because it's deep, but those of you who know me should expect that. Have you ever been in a place where you honestly did not know how you were going to make it through? Those are our breakthrough moments where you're like, aha, that's how you do it. We don't normally gain the insights until after we've made it through though. Those wonderful little morsels of light we gain inside ourselves with that knowledge and understanding that leads the way to lighting up more places inside ourselves, which continue on to become wisdom. This is the path we humans take through life on most things. We learn, grow, and change. Now, the energetic side of that works much the same way because it's a part of the body, the spirit. As the spirit lights up more and more space with in the body more and more and more and more of those breakthroughs happen for the human. When the spirit and the body have merged enough, they can get clear guidance from their soul. And the goal is to get fully open to soul by the time you die. That's pretty much the bare basics of how I believe everything works in a nutshell. With gazillions of other things factored in, of course. We're talking bare bones here. Anyway, my point in saying all of that is we are all doing this, working this formula in some unique way that applies to us individually, which makes us uniquely us. There are some basic patterns that all life tends to flow through. So we all have so much in common at very, even though we are at various places on the path. While I have faced numerous times in my life where death whispered to me, I always seem to be just out of arm's reach, but my body has suffered greatly. I believe with every fiber of my being that those were instances of divine grace. And I gave myself a vow to learn, pay attention, and keep myself safe. Always scan and read my environment open to even the subtlest signs of danger near. Living like that allowed me to greatly enhance my safety, as well as hone my intuitive skills, which I was lucky to have fostered along by the people around me, rather than being told that it was fake imaginary bullshit. But it was much later that I learned to use those same intuitions for my self-growth and even later still that I decided to use them for others. We're all vulnerable in the same ways. We all require the same basic things. We all ultimately want the same things. Love. And to get it, you have to give it. But before you can do any of that, you have to know it. Do any of us really know love? I mean, we know the emotion of love and what it looks like. We experience the chemical reactions happening in our body. Is that love? We experience intimate love with our partners. Is that love? I mean, I don't know about you, but I experience the luscious red juiciness of a strawberry as its tantalizing aroma drifts through my awareness, as it slides into my mouth, bursting with chemical reactions that make their way to giving over their divine gifts to me in my full and complete satisfaction. Is that love? Probably not. It causes some people a fatal reaction. I love that strawberry though. I didn't know that strawberry. I just picked it for a date. It's all of these things. All these questions always running through my head. It's the knowing. Not in the answers, but in the search. That's where love lies. It is in the wanting to have that inside of you that creates the questioning. That's love, the creative spark that ignites you on a search for answers. The part we forget is that the spark resides in us. It is a part of us. So if we have any hope of finding love, we must stroke it from within. So we have to nurture it, feed it to become a flame of desire that searches out its knowing. 
this is how I work the path for me. It's okay if my way isn't for you, but I hope it feeds the knowing inside of you to find what does. Having a psychology background, I feel, is one of my best tools in my search for truth, and I certainly apply it to me to help myself grow. Those of you that have been on this path a while know that the more you find your inner glow, it brings resistance to the fore. I mean, it makes sense, right? Something in you changed, and now your world has to adjust around it. Kind of like a crack in a foundation can collapse a house if it's not tended to. Yet, we keep going because instinctually, we're driven to. Life persists. Those adjustments in my life over the last several years have been cataclysmic, and I've been walking a tightrope between life and death literally since 2017. I've done so much internal digging, and I thought I had succeeded and finally could rejoin the land of the living in 2019, but alas, it was a pipe dream. My life is almost completely unrecognizable today compared to then and everything has pretty much been stripped away. I have plenty of time to go on many soul searching expeditions and at some point I realized through all of this I have lost my joy. Now I don't mean I'm depressed or I'm not happy, don't misunderstand. Happiness is a state of mind and I laugh often. And while there are tons of weights pressing down on me, I'm not depressed yet. By joy, I mean that which lights us up from the inside out. Not our passions or our creative expression or our beliefs or actions in the world. I mean that thing inside us that wants to be alive, that loves life just for the sake of life. That's the part of me that has been hidden in the background throughout these tumultuous past few years. I've gained a lot of other parts back so far during this journey but I don't intend to lose touch with fundamental parts of myself either. So it's gonna be a day-by-day process, of course, of reawakening that much more fully. But today was a victory. I felt a part of my heart light glow so much brighter. It happened on some video that brought up an emotion and some memories that I took notice of and was able to feel further into and realized that joy was in the forefront for so many years, but it hasn't been for a while now. So now I know and can begin walking this path that brings me more of it. It's not an instant fix, but I know it'll sure help. I love myself enough to find all of those dark parts of me so I can fully experience this thing we all call life. I love y'all so much and thank you so much for tuning in. Follow me on social media for more content. This is Cheryl Rain Carter sending you much love, blessings, and healing, my friends.